Now, DC has no shortage of politics, but we always need more people to make fun of it. That is where comedian Tim Kardashian and the political comedy group The Constituents come in. They started up in 2019 and have been humbling our lawmakers ever since. Tim sat down with me to share more. First of all, what inspired you to do this? Uh, great question. So I went through a breakup about five years ago, four years ago, and I had always me my too. Whole life what was her name? To... Was it Charlene? What's that? Was it Charlene? <laughs> it was Charlene. It was Charlene. So Charlene and I broke up, uh, and I had some time on my hands, and I decided with all this extra time that I would get into writing and performing comedy, which is something I wanted to do since I was a kid. So with Charlene out of the picture, Reese, I got this chance to actually start getting onto some stages in uh, the D.C. area. Uh, checking out shows, getting to meet some of the people in the community. And of course, I met some some awesome people along the way. And I decided to start producing my own shows. And uh, we ended up doing our very first one at the DC uh, Comedy Loft with some friends. We put it together. We didn't really have an idea of what we were doing, but we have all the uh, comedians that I had met along the way in my travels, dressing up as the different politicians coming up on stage and just roasting the hell out of each other. Now, Tim, why politicians? Because when people get in and impersonating, they're trying to impersonate, you know, The Rock or uh, Kevin Hart, not Mitch McConnell. You know, the kids aren't growing up trying to be Ted Cruz. So why, why politics? Well, it's D.C., baby. It's a D.C. thing. And I think we got to roast the politicians here on their own turf. You know, and it's something else that's really cool about our show is our cast is a snapshot and a reflection of the DC population as I see it. Uh, you know, we've got Barack Obama played by a public high school teacher. Um, we've got a Mexican American playing Mel uh, uh, Melania. We also have a member of the DC government's government accountability office that's wearing a Kamala wig and roasting the hell out of everybody. So it's a lot of fun and we, we have a good time along the way. So it's a very DC show. Now, have, since it is a DC show, have you or any of the comedians you work with ever been confronted by somebody you impersonate or any of their staffers? Well, I have had a staffer, uh, I, I won't mention the name, but I have had a staffer approach me about some Matt Gates memes that I posted online. Um, but that's a conversation for another time, right? Uh, we have had also some really cool people from Bernie's staff come out to shows. Uh, from what I understand, the senator would love us if he could, if he could make it out to the show. Uh, we've also actually, Ann Coulter's college roommates came out to our, our second show, which was super, super crazy and super fun. Because, of course, Ann Coulter was one of the characters in the show. Hey, Ross, did uh, Charlene break your heart, too? Krogel, yeah. Charlene break your heart? No. Okay. <laughs> I guess they just go for comedians. I guess she's just trying to break us down. Thanks. I should also mention their proceeds go to charity. Tim says that they've raised more than $6,000. Their next roast, Moral Combat, that is on... July 10th, it'll benefit the Capital Area Food Bank. You can get tickets at their website, constituentsdc.org.